with the mission clock ticking, science is taking a back seat in order to get perseverance to the delta as soon as possible. In the history of roving Mars, never has ground been covered so quickly. Ingenuity is picking up the pace too, on this episode of Mars Guide. The autonomous landing system of Perseverance guided it away from terrain that was a rover death trap, but put it on the opposite side from its intended target, the ancient delta deposits inside Jezero or Jezero Crater. The hazardous terrain and the rocks Perseverance landed on were a scientific bonanza. Now it needs to get to the delta to search for potential biosignatures with the remaining time left in the primary phase of its mission which lasts one Mars year, about 687 Earth days. Perseverance has now completed eight back-to-back drives covering 1,740 meters, nearly 1.1 miles, in eight sols. Here's a football stadium for scale. All but one of these drives was more than 200 meters. For comparison at the same scale, the longest drive of the Curiosity rover in Gale Crater is 140 meters with only four drives in consecutive sols. The only way to make the kind of progress seen by Perseverance is to keep its robotic arm stowed and the scientific instruments it carries out of action. You can look but don't touch. That doesn't mean no science measurements though. There's a weather station on the rover's mast that includes temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind sensors, and a radiation and dust sensor on the deck. They are keeping a daily record of local conditions. The eight engineering cameras, which are key for driving, are not intended for science, but they do provide the most continuous record of the landscape that Perseverance traverses, and they're all color cameras, the first for any rover. All eight drives toward the delta have included images from these cameras, including 360-degree panoramas from the nav cams. These are giving us views of the landscape at the most northerly end of Sita, which is the closest we'll get to the eroded remnants of the once much larger delta deposits. The most prominent cliff of the delta is visible in this NavCam image, which the higher resolution science camera known as MassCam Z shot before the drive on Sol 388. The Z in its name is for zoom, which gives us a great look at the sloping layers known as delta forset beds. They formed on the advancing edge of the delta as sediments tumbled down the front in ancient Lake Jezero. Meanwhile, Ingenuity has ramped up its flight pace, completing two flights across CETA just four sols apart, nearly tying the three sol record turnaround of flights one and two. The new flights are number 22 and 23 for those keeping track. In both cases, only the last five NavCam frames showing the landing have been downlinked, and the actual route of flight 23 has not yet been posted. Looking ahead for Perseverance, it's got another 2.7 kilometers or so, about 1.7 miles, before reaching the likely vicinity for the science investigation of the Delta. If it can keep up its current pace, this may happen in about two weeks.